<laughs> I'm just flicking through all the comments on the F90 post saying, what should I do, should I keep it or sell it? So bear in mind, uh, this video is being filmed before anyone even knows that I've got the Alpha. So right now, obviously you lot watching this video will know that I've got the Alpha, but on the day of filming, the reveal video is not going up for a few days. And right now everyone still thinks I've got the F90 M5. And I'm like, what do you think I should do? Should I sell it or keep it? And so many people are like, you need to sell it and buy an Alfa Romeo. It's just jokes how many people have said, sell it. Oh, I'm disappointed you didn't get an Alfa Romeo. Sell it, sell it. So many people saying sell it. It's already gone. And I'm daily driving my Alfa. Kieran Cash, M5 content has been rinsed and ruined recently. I think you can do better. Um, I wouldn't say it's been rinsed. Obviously, Ricky's doing his thing with the M5 and... Um, I rate that. That's his thing. That ain't my thing. I don't want to jump on bloody on the same boat as he's on. Get the Alpha Cow. Be good to see a build on one. Sell it and get an Alf Alpha. Julia Q Cuv F. Um, I get, guess you mean one of these. All the way, Calvin's car diary. It's Chris Brooks. Yeah, a lot of people want to seem to be on side with the Alpha idea. Yeah, I have got an Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing like the first mods on it. These ain't really, they are mods, I suppose. They're just little comforts, little things that I like to have in my own car for daily driving use. One of them is heated seats, so I bought a little pack from Amazon, it cost about 36 quid. And my friend Dave, uh, aka, aka Dave the Trimmer on Instagram, he's going to pull the material off my seats and install the leather seats in here and we're gonna put switches somewhere so I've got nice heated leather um, because as I mentioned before these carbon seats don't come heated very annoying secondly we're gonna take the steering wheel off and send it off to control customs get it retrimmed again because it don't necessarily need doing it it's just nice to have a nice fresh steering wheel all right so um, let's end this scene here get to Dave the trimmer's place it's a wonderful place by the way you lot probably haven't seen it on my channel yet uh, Check out his setup, it's unbelievable. We'll go see Dave, drop the Alpha off, and then we'll check back in after that scene and see everything complete, all right? So, see you in a bit. What are you <laughs> uh, so, Alpha, you like my new car, yeah? Love it. Can I have it? Yeah, I'll tell you what, do the seat and then I'll give you the car as payment, yeah? yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's hop round to the drive seat. We've got a bit of wear on the drive seat, haven't we? Just a little bit. It's not terrible, but it, it kind of lets you in. Literally, it's probably the only negative on the whole car, so it'd be nice to just get it done, wouldn't it? Yeah, put, just put two new, like, put a siding down here and a siding up there. Retaining all the all the little labels. To I was going to ask you that because that's yeah. important. That's like character of the Sorry car, isn't it? And yeah. Label. Yeah, yeah, cool. And then I've bought this um, heated seat kit, heated which seat, yeah, which we'll wire in. We'll probably put. You got a switch there. We'll probably put another one here, or maybe around in this location, so it's a little bit more out of yeah. uh, sight, but it's still accessible when driving. Somewhere that looks yeah. factory-ish still. Yeah. Uh, without look at it and yeah. So you do, I'm guessing you do a lot of this sort of stuff, don't you? Obviously yeah. you do lots of retrimming. We do a lot of retrim, but we also do retrofitting of the heater elements. Mm -hmm. um, cars that weren't spec with from factory, but this wouldn't have been spec with factory because it's got carbon Because it's got carbon backs, yeah. yeah. So. All right, cool. So um, I'll leave it with you for a couple of days. You're up for posting that steering wheel out to Control Customs as well. Yeah. We'll get that done. You do steering wheels yourself, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We've had that chat. Yeah. But Control Customs is... <laughs> They're my steering wheel guys, yeah? yeah? So, yeah, we'll get that off in the post. I'll pop back in a couple of days' time, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have heat seats, yeah? It. We are back at Dave the Trimmers at RS4 BMW Z1. Here he is, Dave. <laughs> um, Z1, that's a mad car, that's different, that's isn't it? Cool, yeah. That is proper cool. 
Show me the door, like the door situation on these is well different, isn't it? No way. That is a proper cool feature, isn't it? Big yeah. feature on these cars, that's what these are kind of known yeah, for, aren't they? Yeah, the sliding down door. Left hand drive. They were all left hand, I think. I thought that, yeah, I was yeah, going to say they were all left hand drive. Uh, what engine is it under the bonnet then, do you know? Um, Should we get the bonnet open? Yeah. Look at that door. What are you doing on this then? We put a new roof on this. Oh yeah, it's well fresh, isn't it? So obviously you do all anything upholstery, mm -hmm. like roof, roof interior. interiors, yeah. the roof lining as well, because you're doing the yeah. Alcantara lining on the E46 yeah, touring. Yeah, roof linings, particularly if some of them drop over time as well, the brush nylon ones tend to drop sometimes. Yeah, 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 that's quite a common yeah. thing, isn't it, with yeah. certain cars. It's a big engine for a little car, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Is it a part of a collection? Or I'm no? sure the guy's owned it for about 20 years. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Got an RS4 there as well. Yeah, this one's mine, this one. Is that your own car, is it? Mm. Oh, really? How long you had that for? Uh, five months, four months. Has it got the proper seats in it? Yeah, well one of them oh, is at the Not at a minute. <laughs> yeah, them seats again, like that is, it's so important. These things, we were just talking about spec on cars, weren't we? Yeah. So I'm just doing a belt swap on that. Oh, you do belts as well? Yeah, so um, just yeah, just a little bit different than standard black. This one's red edge and it's got like a checkered um, like a print line going through, through the, the middle. middle. That's neat, isn't it? Do you know what? Even seat belts, it's nice having fresh seat belts. Yeah. On oh, my G-Wagon that we was in the yeah. other day, the seat belts were all folded and that on that. E46 M3. Yeah. What are you That's doing on doing that? Uh, putting a roof on that and front seat retrim. Glass centre armrest retrim. Blimey. This can be a nice thing, isn't it? Do you know how many miles it's done? That is a good question. I wonder. Oh, it's got 18s as well. That's what I'm putting on mine. They look so good, don't they? 86,000. 86,000. And reverse camera. Yeah, he's had a head unit swap out, but it's got the um, extended leather. Extended leather dash, yeah, I like that. Oh. And console. That's so cool to see one with reverse, obviously it's aftermarket, but that's a nice little, little add, isn't it? Little mm. addition. Cool, so you're doing front seats, armrest. And roof. And roof, blimey. And now, uh, oh, we've got my interior over as well, the E46 Taurins. We want to go red on that, don't we? Red, yeah, we spec the red today, so, so we've, yeah, got we the, now. we've got the headrest in the back of here, because we've had one of my followers, Graham, jump in here. Sorted out a headrest for us, so we're going to go for that colour. And this little M badge. We're going to put that on. You're going to four. really in the rear headrest as well. That's going to be so cool. So yeah, video update on E46 Touring interior coming soon. Yeah. So the subject to this video is obviously the Alpha. So we've had heated seats installed. It's both seats. Both, both front seats. seats. Yeah. Um, does that include the arse and the backs? Yeah. Nice and. Should we have a little look? Yeah, look. Oh, and you've re-panelled the edge as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, so we've dropped in two panels in there and we've dropped in those panels. Oh, that's so much Kept better. Kept the original labels. Really important that, isn't it? And then the heated switch, so we were going to put the switch here, weren't we? But you've gone... Just right, right. around the corner, just to... Out of the way, sort of... Because it's kind of like, even drilling a hole in this carbon seat was brave thing to do yeah and you put it, it's, worrying, it's it? worrying but that is a nice location for it like it's neat it's out the way and even when you sort of stand there you can't even see it no. looks oem and it's quite a nice switch as well it ain't an ugly switch at all is it so heat installing heated seats is that quite a normal thing is that like a normal request yeah we do quite a lot of that retrofitting them like so they're not manufacturing mats they're aftermarket mats but they'll go in any seat um, so you stock them here. We keep them in stock. And what do you like a ballpark figure? What do you charge to? On average, are about four hundred plus fat fitted. So, so supply and a fit and one of your yeah, kits. Yeah, that's good to know. And um, my kit that I supplied, the forty quid jobby from Amazon. Did you use that kit? No. Why? <laughs> it was like a little thin box like that. I'll try and put a, an image of it on the screen. But do you know what? It's worth a pun for 40 odd, 30 yeah. odd quid or whatever it was. It, they probably would have been all right if there was enough to do two, but there wasn't. So, yeah. yeah. We just opted to use my kit because it was the same for both sides. And Same switches, same harness. and yeah. I suppose you're familiar with it as well, so it makes sense. Yeah. Cool, right, so we're done here now. So I'm just looking forward to getting in my driver's seat and feeling heated seats for the first time ever in my Alpha. Yeah.
raining, isn't it? I knew I should have got a four-wheel drive car. <laughs> um, this car will be better though when I get new tyres for it. I've actually sorted that out and have a video coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, tyre upgrade. Just, I just want to get everything right, you know, get all these little bits done and then I can start tuning it and um, yeah, making it a little bit more savage. One thing I haven't mentioned is the steering wheel's been done. I completely forgot and then when I got in the driver's seat and started driving off, I was like, what? This steering wheel is fresh. And uh, massive shout out, obviously, to Control Customs. I mentioned them earlier in the video. I asked them to retain the originality. So I've not changed anything, but red stitching on the inside, um, Alcantara at the top, and then leather around the outside. And then we've kept, obviously, the carbon bit at the bottom of the wheel there. And they've also kept the pattern of the leather there. It's amazing they've done that. I was a bit concerned that they wouldn't be able to do that, but they have done that. And yeah, jobs are good. And I've now got heated seat as well. Lovely, trouble uh, Can't have this sort of temperature. Can you what is it right now? I ain't got a clue what the temperature is because I don't even know how to use this car. Do you know, what? I just filled up the tank by the way. But I thought I'm, I'm curious to see how many miles I get out of a full tank on this car. But um, I've got no idea how to reset the mileometer. Literally got no idea. And that's the thing with this car. Like it's, it's all a new experience, isn't it? And I've barely driven it since I owned it. So I literally bought it, filmed a couple of videos on it, then dropped it today for trimmers to get the seats done and uh, get the wheel fitted as well. So yeah, I can begin enjoying it now with all my little creature comforts, which is nice. And uh, the touring, by the way, I know a lot of people are like, Calvin, where is the touring? I've filmed an update on all of my project cars. I'm gonna post that video in the next week or so, so look out for that. And I'll be updating you on the touring, the M5, you know, the F10 M5 that I bought, that was an absolute shed. Uh, what else? The 335D, the TTs, everything. You're gonna get updated on everything, all right? Look, I've got my indicator on, I don't even realize it. So yeah, look out for that. I'm gonna end it here. Massive shout out to Control Customs for the steering wheel and uh, Dave the Trimmer, of course. What a setup he's got. He has some amazing guys in there. He's great at what he does. Um, he's obviously doing the touring as well for me. So uh, yeah, if you need any bits doing, click the links in the description for them. Control Customs are doing a 10% discount, little cheeky little 10% discount if you want to get your wheel retrimmed by then. Just quote Calvin 10 when you DM them on Instagram or email them or out, whatever you do when you place the order, all right? I'm going to end it as that um, and enjoy my lovely rear wheel drive 500 brake horsepower Alfa Romeo in the rain and uh, yeah, enjoy the comforts of having heated seats, right? Thanks very much for watching. If you did like this video, do me a favor, hit the bloody like button. Uh, if you're new, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon as well to get notified when I upload. But I do upload a video every Wednesday and Sunday at six o'clock, so just keep that in mind. And I'm there without fail twice a week. And uh, if you're on Instagram as well, give me a follow on Instagram, at Calvin's Car Diary, all right? Oh, by the way, Dave is based in Cranfield, all right? Just sort of between Milton Keynes, Bedford, is that about right? I'm just about joining the M1, so it gives you an idea where he is. Control Customs, if you want to get your wheel done, you just stick it in the post and they'll pop it back in the post to you, alright? Just thought I'd throw that in there before we go. See ya. In the next episode of Diary of Car Trader, an update video on all of my project cars, including my E46 M3 Touring.